Well, it's nice to see you all here on this uh, wonderful evening in our lives. There are some things going on in the world that are not real happy at this time. But in general, our globe keeps, uh, keeps spinning. Uh, and uh, there have been worse days than this on the face of the earth. And there will be better ones as well. But a lot will depend on us with regard to that. I've come tonight to ask you um, three simple questions and to talk about those. But before I do, I'm going to ask you if you'd be willing to move just a little bit this way so I can see this beautiful lady behind you. <laughs> Good. Now, the three questions are this. Is it better to feel good or not to feel good? Is it better to feel good or to not to feel good? Who says it's better to feel good than it is not to feel good? Raise your hand if you think it's better to feel good than not to feel good. Only half the room agrees. <laughs> Who thinks it's better not to feel good? I see. So you abstain? The rest of you abstain? Too, too controversial Too controversial a subject? Too, too. Sometimes bad is good. OK. If I take a stance, you present in your books, why should I judge either side of it? Yeah. Exactly. OK. So, so now my second question is this. Is it better to tell the truth or not to tell the truth? Is, is, it better, is it better to tell the truth, raise your hand, or not to tell the truth? OK, everybody agrees it's better to tell the truth. Getting some kind of a ring back here, some kind of a hollow feedback sound. Don't know whether anyone notices that but me, but it may not be necessary. It may not be important, but I hear it. And finally, so the, the first two questions are, is it better to feel good or not to feel good? Most of us agree it's better to feel good. Hmm? Is it better to tell the truth or not to tell the truth? That was unanimous, better to tell the truth. Third question, is it better to tell the truth or to feel good? Judging the words you use to speak. <laughs> <laughs> See, if, if, if you have to make a choice, if telling the truth would make you feel bad, or if it would make someone else feel bad, which makes you feel bad, then what's better, to tell the truth or to feel good? Tell the truth. Tell the truth. Well, I disagree. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's what I want to talk with you about this evening. This should be kind of interesting because it's, it, it sounds almost as if it doesn't make sense. But um, it's an interesting thing to look at. And this um, question has been raised in a, in a forum by Abraham. Do you know who Abraham is? Abraham is the uh, person who's channeled by, who's the lady who channels Abraham? Yes. Esther Hicks. Mm -hmm. Esther Hicks channels the, the uh, entity known as Abraham. And Abraham first posed this question to one of his audiences recently, and I found it intriguing as everything. And so I thought to myself, what an interesting question or series of questions. And Abraham's answer was even more interesting because he said, 
is best to always feel good. Well, I'm not sure that he said it's best to always feel good, but he said it's, a good, it's, it's interesting to examine whether it would be best to always to feel good. But how can you feel good uh, if you're avoiding telling the truth? And here's what Abraham was sharing, and I won't do it nearly as well as he does, but I want to pass on this wisdom to as many people as possible because I think it's you know, worth passing on as best as I understand the wisdom. Supposing that your truth is that you have zero dollars in your bank account, no money in, in the bank. Hmm? She looks at her friend like, hey, like us. <laughs> talk, talk, talking about us here. Um, supposing you had no money in your bank account. Uh, and you're looking at how, you know, to get through the next week or the next month or how you're going to make your future work. Now, um, you can tell the truth about that you have no money in your bank account. You can keep on repeating that to yourself and to everyone else who asks. How are things going in your life? How's everything, you know, happening? And so forth. And you can, and you can keep on telling that truth. Well, I have no money in my bank account. But uh, if you continue to focus on that truth, and by the way, there's no better way to focus on a truth than to keep speaking it, because speaking something creates tremendous, tremendous focus in my experience. It creates, you know, uh, it takes mental energy to, to speak something. You ha your mind has to be very focused on what it is you're saying. And speaking is the heaviest form of communication, as you know. Feelings are the language of the soul, says conversations with God, and feelings are feather light, actually lighter than feathers, weightless. You don't even have to wait for feelings. They're always there, so they are weightless. The next heaviest form of communication uh, is uh, your thought. And by the way, thoughts are communications. And you can communicate to others with thought, and people have been doing it for a long time, since time began. So we, we know people who communicate by means of telepathy or thought. Uh, 